This is a video about the ways in which we can manipulate the parabola. The parabola in its simplest form is y equal to x squared. And that's the graph of it. The vertex is in x equals 0, y equals 0. That's the origin of the graph. And the y-axis, as we can see, is the axis of symmetry. The parabola touches in just one point, and that's the vertex, which touches the x-axis in x equals 0, y equals 0. Now, if we want to shift the parabola to the right, that's this one here. Let's say we want to shift the whole parabola, that means a parabola with the shape of y equals x squared, that's the red one, we shift it to the right by two units. So the new vertex is going to be in x equal 2, y equals 0, and the equation for that is this one here y equals to brackets x minus 2 to the power of 2. So if we have minus then the parabola shifts to the right. And the same if we want to shift it to the left and the new vertex is going to be in x equals to minus 2 and y equals 0 we add 2. So shift the parabola by 2 units to the right, we subtract 2 before squaring and shift the parabola to the left, we add 2 before squaring. As we can see the vertex in all three cases touches in just one point. That means that the equation in both cases has just one solution. The solution for the first one here is going to be x equal to 2 and the solution, the root of the third equation is going to be x equal to minus 2. So for y equals 0 for this one, or y equals 0 because it touches just in one point, the roots of equation 1 is just one root and that is x equal to 2 and the second one x equal to minus 2 for y equal to 0. That is because in each case we've got for this one for y equal to 0 x minus 2 is equal to 0, therefore x is equal to 2. And for the other one, for y equal to 0, x plus 2 is equal to 0, and therefore x is equal to negative 2. If we want to shift the parabola up and down, we simply need to, for the black one, this one here, we just say y equals x squared, which is the red parabola, the initial one, plus 3. And that means that the vertex moves up by 3 and every point for every respective x is going to move up by 3 units. Like for example for minus 2 the for the red parabola y x minus 2 y is 4. For the black parabola minus 2 y equals 7. And the same on the right hand side for 2 
x equal to y is equal to 4 and for the black parabola x equals 2 y is equal to 7 between 3 to 4 and 7 we've got 3 units between 4 and 7 here we've got 3 units so the whole parabola is shifted up by 3 units and the same applies in in this case when we want to shift the parabola down then y is equal to x squared minus 3 and the vertex go down goes down by 3 and each respective point along the parabola is shifted down by 3 units. Now if we want to shift the parabola simultaneously to the right by 2 units and down by 3 units we first shift it to the right so x minus 2 squared like in this case here and we get the blue parabola which has been shifted from the original one which goes through x equals 0 y equals 0 and we move that to the right into this position where the vertex is at x equals to 2 and y equal to 0 and then we move it down by subtracting 3 because we wanted to move it right by 2 units down by 3 units or we can do the same by saying first we move the parabola down by 3 and then right by 2 now if we want to the previous parabola which is this one here x minus 2 squared minus 3 which has the vertex in 2 and minus 3 x equal to 2 y equal to minus 3 if we want to invert this parabola so if we want to have the x-axis as the axis of symmetry between the two parabolas we simply multiply everything by minus 1 so the blue parabola is going to be minus the brackets x minus 2 squared plus 3 so each factor of this subtraction is multiplied by minus 1 and that inverts our parabola. As we can see the x-intercepts which are the roots are exactly the same but the vertex is symmetrical along the x-axis so the vertex of the inverted parabola is going to be at x equal to 2 the same x and y equal to minus 3 as opposed to uh, y equal 3 as opposed to minus 3 and finally if we want to alter the the width of the of the parabola and respectively the the roots of the parabola but maintain the same vertex we need to multiply by a coefficient the, the brackets that are being squared and contain the x and are being squared need to be multiplied by a factor so in this case we maintain the minus in front and we multiply by 1 over 2 to the power of 2 which means that the green parabola is twice as wide in any given point than the blue parabola as you can see the width from the axis of symmetry which goes through x equal to 2 for both parabolas the width of the blue one 
is from 2 to 3.732 that is 1.732 units and from 3.732 to 5.464 it's again a difference of 1.732 so overall this is going to be a difference of 3.464 which is double 1.732 so this bit is twice as big as this one here that means that the green parabola is wider by 2 you can all these parabolas with their respective equations at this URL here which is https www.desmos.com calculator yoer1vqxmi and you can play around with the parabolas and manipulate them the way you want so you can get a better understanding of the way parabolas can be shifted and manipulated. Thank you for watching.